Hello, welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics as if you've never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. I do not profess to be a perfect enchilada maker. Uh, it is not my culture particularly, but I love, love, love Mexican food, Tex-Mex food, Southern Californian Mexican food. I love I'm going to attempt to make some enchilada sauce. So if you've ever seen these bags of peppers, I got these at Sprouts, um, but you might have to go to the Mexican market to get them. But these are different kinds of chili, ancho chili, guajillo chili, and arbol chili. Um, different varying levels of heat. Generally, I think the rule of thumb is small and red, spicy. Uh, these more like savory than spicy. I think a lot of times people are like really afraid of chilies, but the reality is like these are just peppers, chili peppers, and these are the dried variety, okay? So I'm gonna show you, that this is super easy. I know you think it's hard, but it's not, it's so easy. Look at this, on the packaging, it shows you the spiciness level, okay? So this says a three on the spicy, this says a four, and this bad boy says a 7.5. So this is the one that's gonna add our heat. And these two are gonna add a little bit of heat, but step one, we're gonna get a trash bowl, okay? And we're gonna take the seeds out and the stems off of, you don't have to wear gloves, but it might be a good idea because, you know, once you touch this and then you touch your face, now you're never gonna get all the seeds out, but you're gonna try to get the seeds out of the pots, okay? So I'm gonna have to rip a little bit deeper to get the seeds out. I'm just gonna fall out and then we're gonna put it into a pot. Now we're gonna strain it at the end so we'll get the rest of the seeds and skins out of our sauce. But I've heard that the seeds add bitterness. Some people say they make it a lot spicier, whatever. I just know the procedure is you're supposed to take the seeds out. So I'm using all the guajillo peppers. I think foods like this can tend to be really like intimidating. Um, especially for people who have never cooked before because you're like, you know, expecting it to be overly complicated and difficult um, cultural foods. But a lot of times they're not. I mean, some of them definitely are. Um, but I think if you just go step by step, it can be really easy. And I'm going to show you that this can be really super easy. So I'm just sort of like massaging them to get it out. And because I have gloves on, I can also go inside. And you can also like tear it open because all of this is gonna get blended up in the end. So it's not like we're trying to keep the peppers intact. We're gonna do the same thing with the ancho chilies. So I had 11 of the um, other chilies and then I have three and a little nub of the ancho chilies. So I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna de-seed and de-stem. This is the hardest part of the whole thing is taking the seeds out of the chilies. Now we're on to the spicy chili, the um, diable. So here's the thing. If you don't like it spicy, maybe leave it out or do one. Okay, or two, I'm gonna do two. If you love it spicy, go crazy, put four, put five, put six, put however many you think. But this is the super spicy one, this is the one that's gonna make it spicy. So I'm just gonna put in two because my family doesn't like super spicy. The same thing, we're gonna take the top off and then we're going to carefully, I just crushed it, uh, take the seeds out. Okay, and just put the chili in your pot. Here's all the stuff I took out of the peppers. Now, here's all the chilies in the pot. Amazing. I'm gonna put two whole cloves of garlic that are just peeled, and I've got two chunks of onion. So about a half of a small to medium onion, okay? There's our chilies, our onion, then we're gonna salt, okay? Probably good amount of salt. We can always salt it later too, but I'm gonna do probably a teaspoon of salt. And then the same for black pepper. So we got a little salt, a little pepper. Then I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of oregano. Beautiful. Mm, I wish you could smell this, it smells amazing. About half a teaspoon of cumin, ground cumin. Cover it with some filtered water. I'm gonna put it on my pot to boil. And we're gonna boil it just until the peppers become soft. So I'm gonna cover it while it boils. I boiled the peppers about 10 minutes and oh my gosh, does it smell like peppers in here now. Woo wee. Okay, 
So I'm just gonna fish them out of the pot here. They're hot, so be careful. Okay, and I'm gonna put them into the blender. I'm gonna put everything in here into the blender. I'm gonna put the chunk of onion, the chunk of garlic, the peppers. All into the blender. I'm gonna reserve this liquid in case I need it to thin out uh, the sauce, but I like a thicker sauce. So I don't know that I'm gonna use any of this water, but I'm gonna save it just in case. Grab my garlic cloves trying to run away on me. I did add two ladles, maybe three ladles full of the liquid to thin it out. And now I'm just gonna put like a teaspoon of brown sugar. You could use, um, um, they sell like that uh, cane sugar in the brick at the Mexican market. You could try a chunk of that. You could leave it out if you want. I like that sweet, a little bit of sweet with that heat. It's not gonna make it like sweet. Um, I taste it, I definitely need a little more salt and I'm gonna blend this up and then taste it again. Let's give it a taste. Spicy. I'm going to strain it. So I'm doing it over top of my measuring cup so that it'll be easy to pour into the next vessel. By straining it, it's gonna give us a nice, smooth, silky sauce. It's also gonna get any rogue seeds that were in here and the skins out. So this is an important step. Don't skip this step. And I personally just love a spatula for this, a silicone spatula for this, but you can use whatever you want. Straining is so important. Look how much is left behind here, this hunk. This is like skin and you don't want to bite into that tough skin. You want this to be a smooth, velvety sauce. So definitely don't skip the strain step, okay? Oh, I dropped a little bit in there. Beautiful. Oh, look at that sauce. Now you're ready to make whatever you want. And in a future video, we're going to make enchiladas with it. Mm. It's hot though. She's spicy. She is definitely spicy. I love a good storage solution. So I'm just going to show you my mason jar. I'm really, really, really excited um, because I think mason jars are just such an inexpensive, great storage vessel. And these big ones, these quart size, I find I use all the time for fruit, for sauces, for gravies, for bacon grease. They're great for everything, honestly.